know, this is a job where you have to love what you do. You have to love to interact with children. You have to love to interact with people. You, it, when, once you begin to love it, then it doesn't become a job. I don't picture peer power as a job. I picture this as a home away from home. I come here and I have little brothers and sisters that call me big brother, call me, even some student, one student's made a mistake and said call me dad because they look up to you in such a positive way and you're making such a change that it shouldn't be about the money. Like I told Mr. Sarnett, if, I, if the world would allow it, I would do this job for free because I love coming here. I love being able to give back to the people that are under me because somebody gave back to me and I think it's only right justice for me to give back to the students that are here. And it's just, you have to love it. It's a commitment. You, you just, you can't sugarcoat this job at all. The students will know if you are just here, just to be here. This is a job where you are, where you need to be sincere, you need to be genuine, you need to be motivated. You need to be a motivator. You need to learn how to motivate students to be better because these students do not come from a, a, a good upbringing as you have. They do not have the privileges that we had as um, children growing up. So you have to also be understanding and be patient and be kind. It's more than just the money. The money does not matter. You're touching lives and you're reaching children through peer power.